hello there and welcome to today's video so i made it to new jersey um friday today is tuesday so a lot has happened i told you guys i wasn't really sure how much i could film um but my uncle doesn't mind and he's actually um running some errands so i'm in the second house um we were at his beach house yesterday and the day before and i've already packed all that stuff so i'm not gonna be able to show you everything because it's crazy but i'll kind of do an overview of the house some of the spaces are going to be empty because i've already pulled some things and then tomorrow i will show you what i've pulled so far from here and then um i'm leaving thursday morning so and then of course when we get home um i will do a more in-depth right now i'm just really trying to pack as much stuff as i can as you can tell i'm very tired um but yeah so that's the plan um i'll just give you an overview of the house right now and uh, so yeah let's get started so this is the room that i am mainly in which is the master living room you can kind of see that i've started pulling some stuff here um he commissioned this chandelier and these two sconces from a designer in new york so really cool to um hear stories like that um just an overview of the living room and this is the dining room just absolutely stunning pieces look at this gorgeous chandelier just absolutely stunning and this lamp right here just so cool this case right here is completely full with um linux pieces and as you guys know um linux is not really doing that well right now so i'm gonna leave those behind i'll definitely be back um this is a really cute piece here um, he commissioned, he got these chairs, um, from Europe and then he commissioned the back of these tapestries to be made for him. Um, so there are th uh, two sets. So this white one and then this black one that I'm so rudely covering up. Um, yeah. And then if you saw my short, uh, at the beginning of the week or last week, I don't know when this video is going up. I've seen this amazing vintage Christmas tree and it does light up and you can go see that in my video um, my short that I posted um, so then turning around this is the upstairs this chandelier was also commissioned from the same designer and then that one is the same but shorter and it's lit up so let's go upstairs and show you some of the things so this house is 1950s as you can see by the original um light up there i absolutely love that light um and then over here look how cool these um closet drawer uh sliding doors are they're so cool anyways i was working in here pulling some stuff so i kind of filled this case um, with what I wasn't taking from this case, but as you can see, there's a lot of empty spaces. All of this is empty. All of this is empty. This is half empty. Um, I took a lot out of here. I will be coming back um, halfway through the year, hopefully halfway through next year, and then I can pull some more stuff. And as you can see, I was in the middle of this, but I thought this was a good stopping point for me. Um, I am planning on clearing this shelf next and then I'll most likely be done here but he has all the yadros, really good yadros, um, some smalls, some more yadros and um, Occupy Japan and then this is mostly um italy and germany stuff down here he has a lot of italian pieces some of them are broken so i'm just not prioritizing them at the moment um but yeah so there is one more room that i want to take you in before we go out into the hallway so this is the room i've been staying in really cool these 
50s houses that have these um, loft rooms so I've been staying up there and then this is the room that we kind of been sitting in and watching TV and there are four cases in here so this case he's keeping everything in it and this case he's keeping everything in it um, and then these two cases I'll be working in tomorrow to pull from so um, just a little overview um, we got some Fenton in here um, some vintage figurines some depression glass and Fenton um, some just random knickknacks but like really cool I love this nautical plaque and <laughs> the um, the frog and then you got some uh, Royal Dalton and some snuff bottles beautiful perfume bottle right there a teardrop per perfume bottle um, and then up here you have some antique vases right here and then some figurines in the back what is this figurine doing oh he's just smoking on his pipe um, and then in here we have really good pieces I'm gonna have to move this lamp um, when I'm working in here but we have some a Limoge uh, cider pitcher um, a lot of Stangle um, Stangle New Jersey pottery um, some Wedgwood some um, Russian hand painted pins as you can see back here um, some Royal Dalton uh nursery rhyme pieces Th this is a designer piece i can't remember what the designer is called but i can never buy them and usually they're on the internet so i might pay him for this for me um for uh, my personal collection and then in here we have some turtles um some carnival glass some cranberry glass um some more figurines um, we have another, um, another Russian box. Let me see if these are the Royal Dalton. So I can keep those with the Royal Dalton things. Um, I think this one too. Yep, Royal Dalton. So, and he even has like the little mini ones that are worth, oops, I'm not even showing you the very tiny, tiny ones that are worth like $150. Um, some more figurines. I haven't really looked in here. And then some, ooh, I'm trying to, some smaller things right there. Um, so I haven't really looked into this case too much without him. So when we, when I first got here, he kind of gave me the grand tour of things. And then I kind of pulled out some things here. Some more, um, Russian boxes um, so yeah I mean things are everywhere because I came and just destroyed the place by moving things around but um, yeah um, these are the cases that I'll be working in tomorrow because I'm pretty exhausted um, from working downstairs and in the hallway but um, let me take you to the hallway to show you out there so we have a beautiful Noritake um, piece right here. I'm already taking a lot of big pieces, so I'm gonna leave this one behind. Um, some figurines here, some random smalls, and some um, 24 karat gold Limoges, and then he has more Limoges, more Limoges, more back here. There are a couple boxes that I want to grab, and then. Um, Limoge, please. Let me actually grab those Russian boxes out of here. Hold on. Okay, so I brought them all in here. Um, I'm just trying to keep things as categorized as I can. Um, so since I'm going to be pulling the pins out of this shelf, um, I want to just keep all the Russian lacquered pieces here. Um, my original plan was to photograph and um, log things as I was packing them, but just the sheer volume and the limited amount of time that I have, I wasn't really able to do that. So I'm taking a lot pictures and then just 
labeling the bin um, on the spreadsheet um, with the lot that's in that bin. So that's how I'm keeping it organized until I get home. And then when I get home, I'll start listing and then doing um, collection videos with you guys. So you can just, we can just go through each um, collection together. But anyways, let's go back outside. Okay, so I got the boxes out of there. All of this is Limoges, which I can take, but um, as some of you know, it's not really doing that well right now. So I'm just gonna wait until the next time I come and then I'll grab them. Um, this is such a cool piece. It is a um, TV lamp and he uses it every um, night to um, to see uh, with in the hallway. So I'm not gonna take it, but um, I should have put these. Let me put these in here. I'm kind of trying to organize for him as well, um, just so that things are out of the way for him. Um, if I can find stuff, I mean, find room for stuff. So yeah, I'm trying to kind of clean up for him and just um, make his space look a little less cluttered so that he can live nice and comfortably. Um, so I've been doing that too, and I think he's appreciating that more than me taking all the stuff off his hands. So I'm really glad I'm able to do that for him. So here we go, less clutter now. Now it's in the case. Sorry, I hope I didn't make you dizzy with that, but there we go. Nice and cute little cats. They're so cute, I love them so much. Um, kind of wanna get them in the corner. Like that, yeah. They're so cute. Anyways, and then when you circle around here, I am done in these cases with picking what I um, am gonna take this go around. Um, figurines up here are sellable, but just with the sheer volume of stuff I'm taking, I'm just gonna leave some stuff behind, um, more figurines in here. And then the only other thing that I might come back for is the Wedgwood. I know Wedgwood is not some Capa de Monte at the bottom. Um, I know Wedgwood is not really like as popular as it used to be, um, but because he has so much of it, like even if I just put it up for twenty to thirty dollars a piece, or even fifteen to twenty five dollars a piece, um, we'll be doing well. So, um, yeah. So I got some Wedgwood from the other house. Actually, I got all the Wedgwood that was in the other house. And then um, these are the few pieces that are left here. Well, they're not a few, there's a lot of them. Um, but I'm gonna see how much room I have in my car and the bins and all that before. Yeah, so that's the tour. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, I know I wasn't able to upload um, last week. I was traveling and then just getting ready to travel. And then um, this week I'll be on my way back, but hopefully I'll be able to get you guys this video out when I get back. And then, yeah, we will just continue on with what I'm picking, um, what I have coming in store for you guys. And um, yeah, I'm so glad that you, you guys are coming along with me. And I hope that we can um, get this stuff sold for him together. So um, look out for his eBay. I'll be... Uh, linking it down in the description below and as always thank you so much for watching again um, i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in tomorrow's video bye